train this real teach you how to create a google map api key for your wordpress website so that you can properly display and integrate maps on your website we'll also see how to restrict the api key so that others cannot use your key so without wasting any time let's get started now first of all you need to go to this website console.cloud.google.com and over here just enter some gmail account so for this i have created a new email just for the sake of this tutorial so i'll simply enter that and click on next enter your password and click on next again now once you do that you will see this page and you will see this pop-up so if you're doing this for the first time you will see this pop-up will have to enter your country basically select your country after that tick mark this thing and click on agree and continue now we'll have to activate our account so if you see this thing at top start your free trial worth you know 300 dollars in credit so you can click on this activate button click on that you will be redirected to this page basically now you'll have to create a new account so what's the best thing that describe your organization you can select that whether you're a startup whether you're a small company whatever it is or whether this is just for a personal project you can select that thing tick mark it and click on continue enter your phone number now click on send code you'll obviously get some code you'll have to enter it over here and after that click on verify it will verify whether you have this phone number then in the next step you'll have to enter some details so what is the account type whether it's business or individual if it is individual you can select individual if it is business you can change that thing then after that you have to enter your card details so this is very important just enter your card details and make sure it is either visa or mastercard as you can see only two types of cards are accepted so just enter your card details click on confirm then after that scroll down enter your address i'll just enter some dummy address kind of enter your city name postal code your state name then after that you can also enter your tax status basically uh, if you if you're registered you can just select this thing and enter your pan number or whatever number you know based on your country you might have to enter some other details and this is also optional so if you don't want to enter this thing you can just leave it and click on start my free trial now this might again ask you for security codes to so enter that thing and click on continue now click on continue again now this as you can see will only charge you two rupees it's like 50 cents and this is just to connect your account with this card so just enter your otp and click on submit now once you do that thing once you verify your card you can now come back to this option google cloud platform or you can just go ahead and again type in console.cloud.google.com you will land on your home page now if you see over here they have already created one project for you if you click on this thing if you click on this thing at top it says my first project similarly if you see under this option under notification you can see they have created a project for you now if you want to create a new project or if you want to use this project if you want to create a new project first of all you can click on this thing click on new project and after that you can give it any name for example i want to create it for my website this website a new website that i'm creating in fact this is for a tutorial very soon in fact just after two or three days after this video is uploaded i'll be uploading a new tutorial on how to create a business review website like Trustpilot or some other website so here as you can see people can come on your website they can review different businesses and if somebody wants they can also add their own business account so that people can come and they can you know leave a rating and review for their business just like it happens on Trustpilot so here as you can see this is a business golden star and somebody has rated four stars somebody has rated five stars and, and if you want you can also enable membership so that people need membership to give ratings or so on now here if you see this blank space this is not working because this map is not properly integrated once this map is properly integrated this uh, this thing will start showing so once we properly create the google map api key this map will start showing over here so for that we'll come back to this thing and what i'll do is i'll give my project name with this website name the website name is gazix so i'll type in the same thing okay i'll type in this thing and after that you can select some organization and click on create now a new project will be created for you as you can see under notification this project is getting created once it is created you will get this notification and now you can select that project from here so click on this option and select your project now first of all we'll need to enable all the apis for maps so you can click on apis and services from the left hand side and from here you can select maps apis so click on i got it click on this link at top enable apis and services 
And if you see the very first thing we have maps API and here we have 15 APIs for maps. If you see view all 15, click on view all 15. Now you need to do one thing, go ahead and activate and enable all the API keys. So let's do it one by one. Select this directions API, click on that, click on enable. Now this page will reload once you enable this thing. Now as you can see, this is enabled and you have under enabled API keys, you have directions API. Again, you can come back to APIs and you can again come back and select the second one distance matrix API enable this one as well again same thing this will reload and you will see two APIs under enabled here as you can see similarly do it for all the other APIs now you can just click on the second third one which is given at the bottom click on enable and do the same thing with all the other APIs let me do it very quickly Now this is the final API that I've just enabled. Again, it will do the same thing. It will refresh it. Now, as you can see, we have all the APIs enabled. We don't have any additional APIs left. Now, once that is done, you can now click on credentials from the left hand side and we need to now create a new API key. So here, as you can see, you will see this option at top, create credentials, select that option and select API key. Now this will create a new API key for you. You can now go ahead and just copy this key, but we want to do one thing. We also want to restrict the key so that other websites cannot use this key. So you can click on restrict key and you can enter your website name. Okay. You can go ahead. You can select this option HTTP referral, select this option and you can see this option, how you can restrict your API key for specific websites. If you want to restrict a specific URL, you can follow this process, your website name slash the path. Okay. Specific URL. Any URL in a single domain name with no subdomain, you can follow this one. Any URL in a single sub subdomain name using a wildcard asterisk, you can follow this one. Any so subdomain name or path URL in a single domain name using wild wildcard, this one. So I want to use this one. Okay. Any subdomain or path URLs in a single domain. So I want to use this one. So as you can see, you have to start with asterisk, full stop, your website name, then forward slash asterisk. So I'll copy this much, paste it over here, click on add an item, paste in this thing. And instead of example.com, I'll enter my website name, nayashik.com this much. Okay. So it will include the main domain, which is nayashik. And with that, it, it will also include all, all the other subdomains. So as you can see, this is a subdomain gazik.nayashik.com. So it will include everything under this name thing okay under this main name so here as you can see any subdomain or path will be included this is wildcard so this is the format that i want to use now i'll click on done and after that just go ahead and click on save now here as you can see it can take up to five minutes for this now once that is done you will see this check mark over here it says api key is restricted now you can go ahead click on this copy api key and you can paste in this api key wherever you want Make sure this thing will only work if you have enabled or if you have activated your account. So make sure you have, you click on this activate button and you enter your card details. That is very important. For some reason, if you, if you are not able to enter your card details or if your card details were getting, if your card was getting rejected, you can do one thing. You can click on this hamburger icon, this three lines icon, and you can click on billing. And over here you can link a billing account. So if, if you were not able to do that earlier, you can now click on link a billing account, enter your card details, click on create billing account. And now here, as you can see, you will get these steps. You can now again, go ahead and, you know, reset these steps. So make sure you enter your card details without that. This will not work. Now, once you copy your API key, go ahead and paste in wherever you want it. So if you're using this on some website, you'll always see you have to go to your dashboard. For example, I'm just showing you for this website. So whatever website or theme you're using, first of all, make sure to go to your dashboard and paste in wherever your theme requires. For example, in this case, I'll hover over appearance, click on customize for this theme. I'll have to enter it over here. Here, as you can see, we have this option under general, we have API key. So I'll enter my API key over here and click on publish. For some other theme, you might have to enter it somewhere else. For that, you can see the documentation of that particular theme or if it is required by a plugin, you can see the documentation of that particular plugin and you can enter that key and you can enter this key that you have copied at that place. Once you do this thing, you can cut this thing. So this is how an API key is created and this is how you can restrict that key. Right. So this is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys find this video helpful. 
If you find this video helpful, if you want to watch more useful videos like this one, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon. If you like this video, give a thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, whatever social media platform you use. And if you have any doubts, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can always leave them in the comment section below. Finally, thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.